For many people, nothing is more relaxing than soaking in a spa. But a life-threatening bacteria is showing up in the steam from hot showers and hot tubs. It's making many people very sick. Health specialist Marilyn Mitzel investigates in her special assignment report, Bacteria in the Bubbles. Showering is a daily ritual for most of us. Others like bathing in a hot tub. But lurking in the steam is a dangerous bacteria that thrives in warm, moist climates. It can destroy our lungs. Lung experts say it grows in water pipes and floats into the air when our showers or hot tub jets are turned on. The people inhale uh, droplets of water that are microscopic due to the hot water and so forth. And the, the, the water gets down into the lung. It's called hot tub lung. They had to operate and take out a portion of my left lung. The bacteria ate away Fern Lightman's lungs. To stay alive, she undergoes intense drug and physical therapy every day. While millions may be infected, only those with lung problems or a weak immune system would get sick until now. Even healthy people are infected, especially thin white women. Yet few doctors know about it. It's one of, you know, one of quite a number of medical illnesses that uh, can be missed or misdiagnosed. It's often mistaken for bronchitis, tuberculosis, pneumonia, and even lung cancer. Symptoms include a dry cough that won't let up and eventually brings up blood, shortness of breath, fatigue, and a low-grade fever. While treatable, if caught early, a delay can cause major lung damage and even death. Patients often require years of powerful antibiotics. Some can't tolerate them or become resistant. And I'm always afraid that the medicines will stop working. Some people believe hot tub lung is on the rise because of lifestyle changes. Shower stalls have replaced curtains and more of us have hot tubs now with jets. Home water heater temperatures have been lowered from 145 degrees to 120 degrees. Plastic pipes replaced copper ones, all making it easier for the bacteria to grow, multiply, and get into our lungs. And we can't do much to avoid it. Certainly no one wants to have to wear a gas mask in their hot tub. But there are some things you can do, like buying a hot tub with air jets. Here are a couple of other tips. Open your bathroom windows and use the bathroom fan. That'll help get the air moving and eliminate some of the mist. Fern got sick from an enclosed shower, so she only uses a tub. Because her diagnosis took years, she almost died and will take medication for the rest of her life. We'd like the CDC to study this disease and find out how many people actually do have it. Right now, the Centers for Disease Control does not track the number of cases in the U.S., but in the meantime, Fern is doing what she can with what she has. I still have my life. I have a wonderful life. And I want other people who have this to know there is a life out there. On special assignment, Marilyn Mitzel, 7 News. Well, Fern's husband has started a website to educate the medical community and the public about hot tub lung. For more information, visit our website at WSVN.